Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to install the Open Bore emulator on your PSP or PSP Go. So if you're not too sure what Open Bore is, it's basically a 2D um, fighting emulator um, with loads of custom games and mods built for it. So it stands for Open Beats of Rage and yeah, it's actually a really good emulator for Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter style games. So if you guys are interested, go and connect your PSP to your PC and I'll show you guys what to do next. Right guys, so once you're on your PC, there will be two links in the description of this video. The first link is just the open bot emulator itself. So all you want to do is get the latest version. This was updated on the 8th of April 2017. So not too old considering it's a PSP emulator. So click the RAR file to download it. Um, it is a RAR file, so you will need WinRAR to open this one. So once the that file is done, now you will need to get the games that you want to play on it. So the second link will help you with that. It's just a mega link, and all of these games are in pack format. So find a game on this list um, that interests you. Um, I don't really know what's good. I'm probably just going to get this one right here, Castlevania Legacy of Dracula. So once you've got it, all you want to do is right click it, and then just click download, and just do download a zip. So then it's just going to start downloading. Just give the game a few seconds to download. They're not too large in size, but um, some of them are larger than others. So once the download has finished, head over to your PC's downloads folder. And here you can find your game and your emulator. So with the emulator, all you want to do is right click it and then select extract here. It's going to give you a ton of files and don't worry about anything else. It also gives you a Wii file and Windows. Um, just delete those two and delete all of these um, readme um, text documents as well because all you need is the PSP file. So inside of here is the OpenBot emulator. You can just drag that out to your downloads folder and then delete the PSP folder. So now you just need to extract your game. So get the game folder, right click and then do extract here. So here it is, the pack file. So all you want to do, right click copy go into the emulator and then paste this into the packs folder. So with this emulator you can only actually put one pack on there at a time because as soon as you start up the emulator it will boot into the game. I've tried it with two and it just doesn't work, it just comes up with some um, error message. So all you want to do is drag this folder onto your PSP's games folder. So here is my PSP, go into PSP game and it just goes into here. So once it's copied across, you can just find it right here. Now I'm going to go onto my PSP and show you guys how to play the games. Right, so once you're back on your PSP, scroll over to your memory card. From here, you can find the open bot emulator. Once you've got it, all you want to do is just press X to open it. Uh, make sure you've only got one game in the PAX file, and then the game should load up straight away. So just give the game some time and it will eventually load. So as you can see here is my Castlevania game um, which I got. So all you want to do is just press start then just press start again. From here you want to go down to options and press start on that. Then go to video options and press start. Scroll down to the um, screen and what you can do you can change the screen size here. So it's entirely up to you what you want. You can even do full screen like that. Um, I think it kind of looks nice like this. And then you can change it from um, linear or blinear. So linear sort of shows the pixels more and then blinear sort of blurs it. I'll keep it on linear because it has like a higher contrast. Then just go back and press start on the back option. Then you can just go back again, press start and then just press start on start game. So as you can see the game just loads. Now the controls on this are kind of weird. Um, for me it's L to jump which is kind of weird and now I've got R for like a special attack and then you just press X to fight and it's actually a pretty good um, Castlevania mod um, if you're interested in Castlevania I definitely recommend getting this there are loads of other better games on that mega page as well and um, there was a really good Street Fighter one um, which I tried and that was good as well
but you can just pause the game by pressing start. Once you're finished playing, you can also scroll down to end game and press start on that. So keep in mind this emulator has full working sound and everything like that. If you guys wish to exit the game, all you want to do is just press home. Press home again, the game should freeze and then it should just back you out to your PSP's home screen. So that is pretty much it for this video. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.